Welcome to another edition of Black and Blue. And this episode we're calling what? Script for Life. Script for Life? Woo! Mm -hmm. And uh, we get the script for life from an unlikely place, mm -hmm. the Lord's Supper, uh, which we don't, I don't know if we would associate the two, Lord's Supper, Script for Life. Mm -hmm. But uh, but actually, <laughs> we, we, uh, we, uh, we, uh, we can do this because of uh, Marty Luther. Who, uh, who said of the Lord's Supper, where there's forgiveness of sins. There is also life and salvation. Yeah, yeah. And it's true, you know, Lord's Supper, we get forgiveness of sins. You know, I get to sink my teeth into the forgiveness of sins. I get to mm -hmm. slurp the forgi for forgiveness of sins. The forgiveness that Jesus won at Calvary, he gets mm -hmm. to place into me through that meal, right? Mm -hmm. His body, his blood. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so it gives, it, gives, it gives me life and salvation. And uh, so we do a really good job as Lutherans talking about, you know, forgiveness of sins associated with uh, with uh, Lord's Supper and also s salvation associated yeah. with Lord's Supper, because mm -hmm. uh, the final fruit of forgiveness is, of course, the resurrection and everlasting life salvation. But, you know, <laughs> there's that life part that we don't often unpack. Uh, uh -huh. We don't often talk about. Mm -hmm. And that's actually the. I mean, it's it's most of life. <laughs> yeah, we're in that right now. We're, we're in it right now. Yeah, because the life is not, you know, eternal life out there, but eternal life right here, right now. We're living eternal life right here, right mm -hmm. now. Uh, John's gospel, you know, makes that clear that we are those who have passed out of death into, into life. life now. Eternal life is now, not in the future. And so what does that mean for us today, especially with the mm -hmm. Lord's Supper? And that's where we come up with uh, the script for life. Mm -hmm. Um because of uh, four verbs, right? Right. From, from, from actually the, the words of institution. Mm -hmm. The words of our Lord. Yeah. And those four verbs are taken, blessed, broken, and given. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 the, and these verbs apply to us because mm -hmm. uh, Lord's Supper is a meal that uh, actually we become. Right. Uh, so St. Augustine liked to uh, say as he raised the uh, body and blood of Jesus, see who you are, become what you receive mm -hmm. uh we actually become what we eat you know i had oatmeal this morning but i don't i don't look, look like oatmeal the oatmeal became aaron okay i didn't uh -huh. become the oatmeal but in the lord's supper you know we become the body of jesus of, of, yeah the body of christ the body of jesus mm -hmm. and so these verbs um you know they actually have a, a role in our lives too mm -hmm. you know uh taken blessed broken given yeah so let's let's go through them uh, one by one shall we deaconess yes so yes, take sir. it yeah so not like it. liam neeson <laughs> Okay. Not a movie like that. No. Nope. But taken, or another way you could think about it is chosen. That we are taken out of the devil's kingdom. We're taken out of sin and death. And we're uh, chosen by our Lord and brought into his kingdom. Because he's like, I want you on my team. You're important. You're precious to me. All mine. <laughs> our Lord takes us and chooses us. And then something beautiful happens. He blesses us. Um he puts his name on us and it's a blessing, not a curse. He's saying, I will take care of you. You are mine and um, I will never let you go. I will give you every good thing. Yeah. More than you could ever ask or imagine. And, and we know he'll never curse us because uh, he is the cursed one. Right. Right. Jesus with that crown of thorns and on that mm -hmm. on that tree uh, of the cross. Right. You know, dude, I think dude, is it Deuteronomy says, you know, whoever uh, is, it, you know, hangs on a tree is cursed, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, right? and that's Jesus. Yeah. You know, he's cursed so that we can be blessed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. And, uh, and he's that source of blessing. Mm -hmm. So in the church, we, uh, we have this expression, uh, 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 bless we the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. And uh, I've had members ask me, why are we blessing the Lord pastor? Come on. That is, uh, I thought he blesses us. Well, all you're saying is when you say bless we the Lord, you're identifying him as the source of every blessing. And that's mm -hmm. why you say, thanks be to God. You're saying, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, God, for being the source of blessing. Let the blessings rain down. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. And then broken. Oh, and uh -huh. why, why is it important that blessed comes before broken? Well, we know that the brokenness is not a curse. Wait, 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 so, so, so it's not, it's not a curse. It's not a curse. And, and, and can, can we go through life without actually, uh, being wounded? Nope. Oh, okay. Okay. We cannot. Made... Nope. There's a lot of bumps and bruises, scrapes and gashes in life. 
There, so we will not have a pain-free, suffering-free life. None of us will. But we have in our Lord Jesus, the pierced one, the wounded one, um, we have meaning for, for all of our suffering, all of our yeah. brokenness. Because, I mean, Jesus on the cross faced the ultimate uh, brokenness, the ultimate pain and suffering. Um, I mean, his body was literally pierced by a crown of thorns and by uh, the nails in his yeah. hands and feet and the spear in his side. Um, he takes it all, um, all of that suffering. All the suffering from Adam to the last man standing, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Is there just uh, absorbed into that one man, God, man, Jesus. And so there is no suffering in this life that uh, our Lord has divorced himself, mm -hmm. uh, you know, separate mm -hmm. himself. Uh, he, he is, he is present in all suffering. Mm -hmm. uh, he knows, right. he knows what it's like uh, because he suffered, he suffered it all. Mm -hmm. yeah. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Whatever suffering you're going through, whatever suffering I'm going through or Deaconess is going through, uh, Jesus, he, he has tasted. Mm -hmm. He gets it. Yeah. He understands it. He's the yeah. one who had made a way through it. Mm -hmm. right into glory right so there's all there is an expiration date with all of our suffering because of jesus yeah and i mean you know he comes to us in our in our suffering and uh stands with us as the wounded one as the uh pierced one the suffering servant he comes and stands with us and uh well he's really given to us and so then that is kind of well, what happened. Well, yeah, well, well, yeah, well, yeah I, I don't want you to make the jump too quickly oh, to the last man. one. Okay. But, 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 but by his wounds, we are healed. Yes. You know, it's something that we say all the time, right? It is. I mean, here's a chance to really say that he not only stands yeah. in solidarity with us, he's the one who gives us the wounds that bring healing right. to our wounds. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and this is really brought out beautifully actually at our altar, mm -hmm. um, with the Lord's supper, of course, yeah. um, underneath, uh, the Lord's supper is oftentimes a cloth. Mm -hmm. And if, if you were to walk up to your altar, um, probably not during the service. I, I don't know. I don't think you want to walk. Maybe right not up. the yeah. best yeah. idea. But, but, but it, oftentimes with that linen, yeah. there are five crosses. Mm -hmm. And those five crosses are the five wounds of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And uh, we don't have to go into a, you know, there, there's no time machine. But, right. but, but, you know, we don't hop into, you know, into a DeLorean and type in 30, you know, 3 AD and we go back to the cross. Um, no, the wounds come to us mm -hmm. uh, in each of our congregations. And we get to feast on those wounds that mm -hmm. actually bring healing to mm -hmm. our wounds so that we know that one day these wounds will be healed. Mm -hmm. And these wounds that were a source of tears and fears yeah. all these years will become a source of, of everlasting blessing and joy mm -hmm. for us. Because we'll finally see how God used these wounds uh, to really make us into the people he created us to be. Yeah. Yeah. And so there's, I mean, there's great hope in the midst of the wounds right? because of the wounds of Jesus. Mm -hmm. I, just, I just wanted to make sure we got, we, yeah. we got there. It's like we uh, end our each episode with that. I, I, How yeah. could I forget? Well, I'm just, don't, don't be hard on yourself. <laughs> you know, I always, we got to be patient with yep, ourselves. Exactly. Show ourselves oh, a little grace. Exactly. You're going to have grace from me, Deaconess. Trust yes. me. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll show you mercy. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Okay, oh, okay. Man. So final verb is... Uh, the final verb is given. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and it's actually, you know, if you mentioned how we have the altar, it's actually kind of a cool way to think of it. Um, there we're standing with our brothers and sisters in Christ at the altar to receive Jesus. And and really, that's um, yeah. we're given to the world to stand with other wounded people because everyone else in our world is is broken. Broken with mental illness, anxiety, depression, um, disease, yeah, disease, loneliness, sadness, yeah. um, you know, you name it. And so our Lord gives us out into the world to go stand um, next to them to, to be drawn to people mm -hmm. in in their brokenness and their suffering. Because that's, I mean, that's what our Lord Jesus does with us. He comes to us as the wounded, yeah. as the wounded one, and gives us healing in his wounds. And, yeah. and so because of that, we get to stand, um, we're given to stand um, with those who are wounded and, and suffering too. And, and that, going, you're not alone. And that's what compassion means, right? What does right. the word compassion mean? Yeah, with uh, what, with... Um, suffer with. Yeah, there suffer we go. Suffer with. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, we, we have uh, Jesus who is compassionate towards us. He suffers yeah. with us. Yep. He suffers for us so mm-hmm. that our suffering can't end us, right? He's the one who actually makes that way through suffering into glory. Mm-hmm. Um, now, we don't suffer for people, but we can mm-hmm. suffer with them. Yes. Come alongside them, put our hand, our arms around their uh, mm-hmm. shoulders and say, hey, you're not alone. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. not only is Jesus suffering with you, and he suffered for you. Mm-hmm. He died the death you deserve to die. Right. So you not so you now have a life that can't ever die. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you're gonna make it through this. So there's yep. light at, at the end, end of the tunnel. Mm-hmm. Not only does he suffer for you, he suffers. Uh, he suffers with you. Yeah. And uh, and you know, and I, I do too. Mm-hmm. You know, we, we suffer together. Right. You know, we're gonna walk together. Mm-hmm. And underneath yeah. us are those nail scarred hands of Jesus, and, mm-hmm. and he's not gonna drop us. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, remember, hey, we're blessed. He, he took us, he, he's, he's blessed us, and he continues to bless us. Yeah. Uh, he gives us meaning in all of our brokenness and woundedness. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and you know, he's, he's the one who is going to give us into uh, a kingdom that has no end. Mm-hmm. A new heavens, new earth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's the story of our, our life. It's the script for our life. Um, all wrapped up in our, in our Lord's words. Um, with taken, blessed broken and given so it's not only forgiveness at the lord's supper right so much more we're uh, given life and those four verbs really give us the script of what that life looks like yes, it's great exactly there, you know we have meaning purpose <laughs> everyone has purpose and meaning exactly yeah. yes so now uh next time you're at the lord's supper you get to Think of all that he's giving to you. And you get to dwell on those verbs. Yeah. You know, what does it mean to be taken and to be uh, blessed and to be mm-hmm. broken and to be given? Like just mm-hmm. to, to dwell yeah. on those verbs. Yeah. What does that yeah. look like in your life as a student, as um, a deaconess, as a pastor, as a brother, sister? Does it look different? Yeah. For everyone. Mm-hmm. There's no one size fits all, even though I think sometimes we want to just pump out Christians like it's an assembly line. Like a GM plant. Oh, man. It's like, no, yeah. we're, we're all going to be. We're, we're all like, unique. We're, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Unrepeatable. One of a kind. Uh-huh. Yeah, you don't want more of this guy. Trust me. You know, just, no, I mean, it's just. But let, let, let's enjoy just the uniqueness of every person. Exactly. Yeah. And what exactly. those four verbs will uh, look like uh, in, in, in that person's life, mm-hmm. in my life, in your life. Mm-hmm. You know, it's going to yeah. be different, but good. Yes, very good. So, uh, yeah, by his wounds. We are healed. Yeah, until next time. Cheers.